Okay, so this is un my un Christmassy video for staying connected at Christmas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, c conscious contact with God, you know, God consciousness. I mean, you could say, like, I mean, if, I, I mean, for me, I guess the Course in Miracles is about developing Christ consciousness, you know, and Christ consciousness is, the, is oneness, you know. Um, so, and I think the great thing with, <clears throat> with Dr. Hawkins' work is he describes the different levels of consciousness that one can be in. So ultimately for me, from my own experience, you know, maintaining the highest level of consciousness, Christ consciousness or God consciousness or Christmas consciousness, which uh, should be, is really, it's the thing of um, mindfulness or vigilance. And not, and not allowing identification to build up. Because the more you identify with stuff, you can start going down the le le levels of consciousness. So the main thing is for me is to maintain the highest level. Ultimately, if I'm in the observer, then it means I'm not identifying with my thoughts. So there's a, there's a presence which is, which is witnessing now. So if I can maintain that throughout Christmas, that's the highest because I'm not in the story of my thinking. So I'm not going to be, as soon as I identify one thought with significant identification, then I, become, then I move from being in the observer to being in, in the thinking. And now I'm in the future, the past, and everything. And, I, and it's like, the observer is like the witnesser behind my thinking. And as soon as I hook into a thought, I'm in the, it's like feeling like being in the head. I don't know if that makes sense. And it's like, as soon as I'm in my head, it's addictive. So the next thought becomes even more addictive than the last thought. And then this momentum of being in the head starts to build up. And then you start to feel very, very mental. So that's the thing. So for me, it's always like, get to the observer, or practice, or if you can't do the observer, practice your Course in Miracles lesson very regularly throughout the day. Because it's like, I mean, one of my favorite things for Christ consciousness would be, all my thoughts are meaningless. You know, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, it's Christmas Day, it's the most special day, it's the most meaningful. No, it's not. That thought, Christmas Day is the most special day of the whole year. Uh, that's a, my Course of Miracles beeps. That's a meaningless thought. <laughs> okay. Oh, you bought me this Christmas present. You're so special. Okay, my, my alarm beeps. This present is meaningless. Okay, forget that. You know, so it's like... <laughs> So it's like, okay, so, so the course is then, the course or the observer is trying to strip the ego going into specialness or meaningfulness with anything. So when the ego is not making specialness or meaning, meaningfulness out of anything or any particular day or any particular cake or any particular person or any particular present, then that Christ consciousness stays. And you could say that the blessing of your Christ consciousness on Christmas Day is the biggest blessing you could give another. It's not your presence or it's not like uh, wearing a Santa Claus hat. Mm. It's actually you being in the Christ mm. consciousness. Mm. So to practice like, all, mm. you know, I'm meaningless, you're meaningless, this present is meaningless, this day is meaningless. And to retain the Christ consciousness for me would be, in a way, you could say the highest present to you know of, of Christ consciousness to, to the planet rather than rather than the Santa Claus hat and trying to make the day special or people special or, or the Christmas tree special so so this thing of and this thing of so to maintain you know because I think that the question can also mean it's hard to retain your spiritual connection at Christmas because there's so much special significance made out of it. This is supposed to be the most special day of the year. We're going to eat the most special food and I'm going to have the most special collection of friends and it's going to be so special and meaningful and I have to wear the best Santa Claus outfit and we're going to have a Santa Claus outfit reunion. And they have I the go best... drunk and then fall asleep with <laughs> and, get drunk and get the best cake and I have to make sure it's so special. And then, and then you find very, you feel very disconnected in making it so special in the day, and like you've got all this has to be special lighting, and this has to be the most special moment that everyone has today. So actually, it's a recipe for being disconnected from Christ consciousness. So I think that's the meaning. Yeah.
that's why people say, like, you know, in 12-step programs, they'll find Christmas very difficult, mm. you know, because of the specialness. It has to be special with all the family. It's going to be really, really special. It's going to be the best day of the whole year. <laughs> and, 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 and then you actually find you're very disconnected. You're actually in your resentments, your anger, you're frustrated. And, you know, this relative's done that and that relative's done that. And uh, so you, you lose, you, so it's, in a way, it can seem more difficult to be in Christ consciousness at Christmas time. And what, so again, for me, again, it's just taking it to basics. Mm. It's like, it, you could say really at Christmas is a paradox. You should have to be, be more vigilant in not picking up specialness and meaning than on other days of the year, which is a paradox, really. Because to retain, to retain Christ consciousness or to retain the oneness, you have to actually use your course or the observer more frequently throughout the day to not get pulled in to the special. You know, like your friends are saying, isn't this a really special day? And don't you think my outfit is really special? And oh, isn't it so special that all the family are here today? So it's like you're being hooked into putting special significance on the day in, in a multiple ways, which you wouldn't on a normal day. So you would say that, the, I would say that to keep protected, you know, like if, you had, if I had an alarm going every 10 minutes on a normal day, then I'd set my alarm to every five minutes on Christmas, or it's like, or what, you know, just really strongly go, to, you know, I say to people, saying to some people I'm working with, like, you know, take lots of toilet breaks when you're with your family, because, um, yeah, I say it to them, because you're going to, you know, I know them, and they'll get disconnected when all their family are together, and they'll go into, like, into the head enormously and get resentful and fearful because the family not behaving the way they want them to behave, so I say, like, take lots of toilet breaks, pray, meditate, disconnect, get back to Christ consciousness, go back. Remember what Hawkins said, like if you watch, a, and this was one of the greatest things, I mean, it's a small thing he just mentioned, but like if you watch a commercial, your arms will go weak maybe 15 or 20 times because you get programmed so many, so many times negatively. So imagine if you've got all your family together in the same room and they're going like, aren't you like <coughs> CEO of your company yet? And what are you doing for a living? <laughs> Have you stopped like being a hippie or whatever it is? <laughs> so it's like, so, so that's the type of thing, you know, you're going to need extra vigilance to, to, to sort of like maintain your Christ consciousness because, you know, there'll be lots of hooks to try and get you disconnected. So for me, it's like retaining, retaining that empty consciousness when you're being hit by so many messages and so much special things. And, so much family history is actually so it's a good question because actually for me it's like you have to get into the basics of spirituality even more than on a normal day because there'll be so much pressure mm. so just you just have to like cancel the beliefs make it meaningless make it not special and just I would, I, you know a miracle is a shift in perception like the greatest blessing is to be empty the greatest mm. blessing is to be in oneness the greatest blessing is the Christ presence not, not buying presents, but Christ's presence, if that's a slightly different <laughs> meaning than, than, than that. Because that is the biggest gift. Because when, you're, when you're, in, you're in the oneness, when you're empty, that's when the greatest blessings to the family happen. Because you become, an, you become a channel of light and miracles. When you're just in your head, being triggered, left, right and centre. And this thing of what I share with people is like, don't let yourself get triggered for too long before you, you take a break and empty out, you know, or practice your lesson, you know, or if you're with your family, like repeat the lesson like a mantra, you know, you're, you're meaningless, this present is meaningless, this thing, or practice the observer, keep going to, as you get hooked in, go to the observer of the hook, you get hooked in, some, they say something else, go to the observer of that. So. When you're in your ego, you're trying to hook into information in the world. But if you're, if you're in, a, in a difficult situation, you want to be trying to disidentify and go inwards. So you then give the gift of presence because you're not allowing your ego to hook into the world. If you go into your head and then start getting programmed by everything and all the comments and everything <clears throat> and wanting to share how special, make it special, control the situation to make it special, you actually get more hooked in. So you don't give them the blessing of Christ's presence. 
uh, you give them you, all that you give them is being in your head being disconnected and getting irritable because they're not behaving the way you want them to behave, which is actually a lesser gift than to be in, in the pure consciousness. So that's how I'd frame it. I'd frame it like the biggest gift you can give people is to be empty, is to be, in the, is to be empty of being in your ego. And then that's the big, and even if people don't think that's the best gift, you are still giving them the best gift even if they don't know it. I say, where's my special present? You know. <laughs> yeah, the best present has been. I'll title the video that I think the best present.